Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. You've joined me here at the Belfry. We are in the Talamo Performance Centre and the video today is going to hopefully get you to hit your iron shots a little bit closer to the hole through a little bit more consistency, looking at how the arms move relative to the upper body. Now, just before we go into exactly what we're going to do in this drill, in the corner of the screen, you should have hopefully the details for my social media accounts. You've got Facebook, you've got Twitter, and you've got Instagram, so please also make sure you go ahead and you follow me on those. So the video today is looking at the irons and a little bit more specifically at the irons, and we're going to look at how we move the arms relative to the upper body, and we're going to look at trying to give you a little bit more structure in your arms, and that's hopefully going to get them working a little bit more in sync with the body, and that's going to in turn give you a little bit more consistency, which is really what we want from these iron shots. We're not really looking at distance as a premium here, maybe a little bit more so with the driver. With these irons, these mid irons, we're looking for a little bit more consistency, and that's going to hopefully help you bring those scores down. So we're really looking at the structure of the arms at the top of the swing. So when we say structure, we mean the kind of shape that they're in. So, for example, if I was to make a, a backswing where my arms were to sort of collapse like this, we'd say that was a pretty poor structure. So the drill today is going to be looking at how we move the arms relative to the upper body. And what I really want you to try and think about is trying to make a big full turn in the upper body, so a nice big turn in the shoulders, but trying to keep the arms swing to a minimum. I see too many golfers where they'll make a backswing and the rotation is good in the upper body, but the arms go too far, the elbows get a little bit, or the right elbow, I should say, gets a little bit too deep, a little bit too far behind them, and then from there, it's very, very difficult for them to sync up the downswing. So this drill is going to hopefully help you get a bigger turn, shorter arming, and sync up that downswing a little bit better. So here's what I want you to do. Just do this with the mid iron. I've got a 7 iron here, that'll be ideal. And just take your setup as normal. Now, once you've made that setup, what I'd like you to do is I would like you to use your wrists to move the club vertically upwards, and I would like to use your arms to rotate the club across to the right. So hopefully you can see there that I haven't really moved my lead arm too much. I haven't really moved them to the right, or I haven't really raised them. All I've done is I've set the club with my wrists, and I've moved the club across to the right. Now, as I do that, you'll hopefully notice that there's a little bit more flex that appears in my trail arm, which is my right arm. Now, from here, my hands are opposite my chest, which is pretty much where they were at setup. What I would like you to do from here is try and keep the shape in this right arm and very simply just rotate your shoulders to the top. So, hopefully, it's going to look a little bit like this. I won't hit this one, but I'll just give you a demonstration. So, there's my normal setup. We're going to go up with the wrists, right with the golf club, a little bit more flex in that lead arm, sorry, in that trail arm, and then from there, I'm just going to make a big turn up to the top. So, what we're really doing with this drill is we're making sure that what we're doing, we're setting the wrists, we're rotating the arms, and we are turning the shoulders. So there isn't any independent swing of the arms, which is going to cause them to maybe lose a bit of shape or lose a bit of structure, as we said at the start of the, of the session there. So we're really trying to get the arms and the body to work a lot more in sync. Now, we can actually hit golf balls like this, no, no problem at all. So I'm just going to take my starting position. I'm going to do that same little exercise, but this time I'm going to give it a hit. Now, I'm not going to do this at full speed. But there's my two moves. Now I can turn to the top and give it a hit. But what that's doing for me is it's going to give me what might feel like a slightly shorter position at the top, simply because we haven't got as much travel of the arms. We haven't got as much overrun of the arms. I often find golfers struggling to sync up the downswing when they will make a pretty good rotation, but the arms tend to continue long after the shoulders have stopped their movement. And what that does is we call that a little bit of overrun in the arms. The arms get a little bit too far, a little bit too deep. Those golfers often find that they flex the lead arm. The right elbow gets, as I said, a little bit too much behind them. And as they start down, it's very, very difficult to then sink the arms up and get that desired contact that we're after and that consistency that we're after. So let me do that again for you. So I'm going to go set up. Up with the wrists right with the arms, and then the feeling for me now is I keep those hands in front of my chest. So as I make my pivot and I turn, I'm really trying to feel those arms just stay nicely in front of me. So let me do another one for you. There's my two moves, and then rotate up to the top and hit it. And yeah, that wasn't the best strike in the world, but again, it's a little exercise that you're going to do in practice. We're not really looking at hitting great shots. We're looking at trying to create the right feelings and the ideas. So I think what you'd find if you did this drill is you find that you'd still hit the ball the same distance because you're making that big turn. The upper body's still moving and rotating the same amount. But by shortening the arm swing, 
we add a little bit more consistency to this goal swing, and that in turn is going to hopefully help you hit those shots a little bit closer. Once you've done a few of the drills, then you can go ahead and hit some. And all I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to hit a pretty fullish 7 iron now, but I'm just going to try and feel up my arms or a little bit more in front of my chest, and I've got that nice structure at the top. Okay, and that's pretty good. So let's think about how much the arms move relative to the body. If you find that you're struggling with consistency in your irons, it may well be that you are making a good turn, but your arms are traveling too far, they're getting out of sync, and it's very, very difficult then to sync the down sync up and hit those good shots that we need. So do that drill. It's going to give you a great idea for where those arms need to be at the top relative to the upper body, and that is only going to mean better shots with your irons, and that is only going to mean lower scores. So thank you very much for watching. Give the drill a go. Let me know below what you thought, if it helps you. There is a comments box down there. There is also a like button, so please use that if you did like the video. And if you haven't done already, then please subscribe to my channel. There's loads of videos on there now. More content being uploaded weekly. So clicking that subscribe button and it just means you won't miss any of that new content. Right. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you again next time.